My name is Mark Simpson. I'm a retired sergeant from the Arlington, Texas Police Department. I was a supervisor of the Amber Hagerman Homicide Task Force. On January the 13th of 1996, at about 3.20 in the afternoon, Amber was riding her bicycle in the parking lot of an abandoned Winn-Dixie storm. Um, there was a man who had actually witnessed this abduction. He had seen Amber riding her bicycle and that um, a man driving a black full-size, standard cab, fleet-side pickup truck, possibly a Ford, uh, drove up to Amber from where he would park next to a, a uh, laundromat. Man got out of the car and literally grabbed Amber off of her bicycle as she's kicking and screaming, uh, threw her into the truck, through the driver's door, and then drove off across the parking lot and then drove west bound on Abram Street. We found Amber's body approximately four days later uh, on Wednesday night going into Thursday morning, about 3.2 miles away in, the, uh, in a ditch up on the northeast side of town. It's now approximately 20 years later. The lead count is somewhere up around 8,000, and Amber's killer has not yet been caught. When I came to the homicide unit in 2004, I continued to work the case with Detective Jim Ford, who was the lead investigator on the case. He was the lead investigator on the case from the first day of the investigation. When Jim Ford retired in 2010, I was assigned to take over as the lead investigator on the case, and I've had the case assigned to me since that time. Even though this case is 20 years old, we usually get several tips a month, and we receive those tips, whether it's by a phone call, through Crime Stoppers, or through the Arlington Police Department email system. We still treat each lead as if it may be the one that'll break this case. It's important to us that everyone out there think about this case and think about any possible suspect that they may have. Even the smallest lead could be the right lead that will help us break this case and bring the killer to justice. It was such a high profile case in Arlington that I see as I go to different states, uh, the different conferences, people talk about the Amber Alert and how it's been implemented in their state and how, you know, a lot of them don't even know that the case originated in Arlington. So I talked to them about the background and this has affected the country and even internationally. Amber Alerts are worldwide now and uh, have been credited with saving, I believe, over 700 children to this point. And uh, for something so good to come out of such a tragedy, um, just speaks to the community and the people that were involved in the case to see what they can do to, uh, to improve the way we handle these kinds of cases in the future. My name is Lieutenant Mike Ollier. I'm the lieutenant over the homicide unit of the Arlington Police Department. Twenty years ago, I was a juvenile detective and I was asked to become a member of the Amber Hagman Task Force. 
that task force investigated the abduction and death of Amber. It was a case that definitely impacted all of us, even to this day. That case means quite a bit to this community, not only because we all have children and it could happen to any of us, but because it was a case where an innocent life was taken. Amber would be close to 30 years old today. Who knows, she may have had a family of her own by now. She may have been a doctor, a lawyer, we'll never know. That innocence was taken from her, and that's why to this day, we will investigate this case and will continue to do so. The day that this occurred, Amber's family has been a part of this police department. Amber's mother became the voice of Amber, and she became the voice of many mothers, not only in the city, but throughout the country. During the years of this investigation, she has written letters to the killer. Those letters are not only her voice, they are the voice of mothers everywhere.